Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Brett of NL Mices, still on the West Coast, drinking some slice, uh, yes. fresh slice, three weeks old. I'm so stoked on this one. Uh, also, just by the looks of it, because it's not just yellow; it's slightly green. Uh, but this, <laughs> like the can, yes. This yeah. is Slice Beer Company's Dank of the Dead. Look at that. So I mean, the art style in these cans are just crazy. This is a 7.3% West Coast IPA hop to death with Mosaic, Simcoe, Centennial, and Citra Cryo. So I think, yeah, well, it's new school, but it looks new school. Mm. It's just old school hops in there too. And it's got so many cool references on the can to zombie movies and stuff. Hop heads beware, they rarely return. And then on the side over here, it says, the West Coast outbreak started in Lincoln, California. Reports of dank coming from Slice Beer Company on 6th Street. Come on, man. This is just so well done marketing. Yeah. It's very American. But yeah, in, well, a, fucking in a pretty it. fun, funny, cool way. Yeah. So, so let's drink some dank of the dead. Yeah. Uh, that is so clear and greenish yellow. Yeah, it is. Like. It's the most clear beer today. Yeah. It's it is completely clear crystal and Crystal clear. And what's uh, <laughs> also a thing today that we also talked about a bit earlier off camera was letting them warm a little bit, these beers. Because yeah. just like New England IPA... In they, the can. In the can. Yeah. Because uh, they benefit a little bit from not being ice cold. Yeah. They open up more. And it's that's how it is with all beer. You don't want to drink yeah. it frosty cold, even though they're so refreshing to drink frosty cold, these beers. Mm -hmm. But both... Uh, Hapfu and Hello LA were a bit more aromatic in flavors than when they weren't frosty. Yeah, cold. yeah. So this is this is good, pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, but it looks crazy, crazy with that greenish color. Yeah. Um, slightly white head on there. It's not slightly white. It's just eggshell white. Let's yeah. check out the aroma. Mm, very nice. It Pithy, bright. Uh, it's very limited. It smells green. <laughs> yeah. Also, shout out to Joaquin for the beer. Yeah. It, it's actually less dank than I expected for it to be called Dank of the Dead. Yeah, but it's like, it's very much like basil and yeah. herbs, like like a melange of herbs. Yeah. Also thyme. I'm yeah. getting a bit of a bright cushy kind of. Yeah. But it's maybe more like hash. Yeah. Than, than yeah. Cush. Like yeah. Because it's more earthy and robust. Mm -hmm. Man, we're just sounding like the biggest potheads. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm getting a bit of like a. Now that we talk about lime esque color and lime yeah. being poured in pilsners, it has a a bit of like a lime pith thing. Yeah. But but it's very much like yeah, thyme, basil. But there is lime pith, lemon pith. Yeah. There is some dankness. I wonder if yeah, like the whole hash. <laughs> also chives. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting that now. Wow, that's so weird. Chivey, chivey thing. But I think that. Maybe that's Centennial? Chive lemon? Know. No, sorry. Ch chivey lime. Yeah. Um, <laughs> chivey lime, lemon, um, uh, thymey, herbal-y flavors. Yeah. And again, there is some dankness, but again, it's not like... No, like, it's not super dank. I think the craziest... It's more herbal. ...dank IP we had from these guys was probably Wowie Nugs. Also, oh, uh, yeah. the, uh, tr uh, the... The triple hi hippie yeah. cabbage. Hippie cabbage was crazy yeah. dank. But it still smells really nice. Yeah. It, it's it smells similar to... Uh, no, actually it doesn't at all because it's much more with the weedy stuff and, yeah. and, and herby. But yeah, let's try it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Joaquin. Mm. Much more like grapefruit and mm. dank. It's, oh, yeah. Ooh, earthy too. Yeah. It's really got a grapefruity in it. It's really grapefruity. It's got like a quite old school flavor mm. profile. Yeah. There is definitely some dankness. I'm also getting like this little hint of candied citrus on yeah. it. Also, the most bitter, maybe compared to Hapfu? comparable to Hapfu. I think I these think, two are the I most bitter. I think this bitter is today. a bit more like that grapefruity it's, bitterness and that seems sharp. A bit like yeah. it's sharp, sharp. <laughs> it's like a sharp bitterness, like a bite, mm. and it has more like it has more resin. It has a bit more earthiness. Yeah. It has pepper. It has thyme. It's like much more of these. It's almost like you when you have the pilsners that are coita and robust, like we talked mm. about, just with you know more fruity American hop flavor. Yeah. Then it has that grapefruit. There's some sweet citrus. I think again, it's like it's more yeah. like hash than weed. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, maybe it will build a bit. I'm getting a bit of it, like. But yeah, it's yeah. probably more er like fresh herbs than yeah actual like dank vibes. I think you know. It's, it's it's much more what I think of. It's so weird because it looks so new school, but it's much mm. more what I think of when I think old school West Coast. Yeah, but the mold like backbone is so yeah, light. so much lighter. But the, the hop character or the the hop uh, profile, the bitterness also really builds on this one. It's like really peppery bitterness. But maybe it's the centennial giving that you know slightly more like raw kind of yeah. hop character. Yeah, yeah. It's also slightly floral. Because, yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It's like quite impactful on the aroma. I'm actually yes. getting more of that, they're that, perfumey for sure. I'm mm. also getting more of that lemon lime, lime verbena type, like mm. oily lime citrus. Also something you've talked about earlier. It also has a bit of this aloe vera as yes. thing, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's very green, but not maybe in the super dank way, more like a melange of herbs. And yeah. Plant. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a blueberry cushy vibe too. Mm -hmm. Just touch. Yeah. Drying out like crazy. That's I think this really is a, the driest of the bunch. Yeah. It's bone dry. Mm -hmm. Still somewhat fluffy in the mouth. Yeah. A and then like just like it's bone dry and then finishing quite bitter. Yeah. Not like hundred IBUs. No, no. Bitter, but definitely, it feels more bitter as well because it's so dry. Mm. But it just makes it really refreshing. Yeah. Really dry, pithy bitterness. I would want more, 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 more fruitiness though. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I, I guess a lot of earthy, koita, hashy, herby flavor. Mm -hmm. I am. Um, I prefer hop fu or uh, yeah, hop fu over this. Mm. Me too. I think it's around the same level of intensity, intensity of flavor. Yeah, yeah. Hop fu is just, just more much fruity. Yeah. Much, much fruity different fruity. flavor profile. Yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking like a 92, three-ish as well, yeah. maybe 92, high yeah. 92, something like that. Like, yeah. I would want a bit more fruitiness like Hapfu. Hapfu is just a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. I agree. But yeah, we know Slice can do things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. That's usually what they do often. Actually, It's also nice that they do different things. Yeah, yeah, it's not the same beer. This, this is di quite different from the others we've yeah. had from them, so. Yeah. It's so, I just told Brett off camera, like we missed out on a couple of releases just as sounds just like Upper Alley. Mm. Uh, Binding Moonlight, all New Zealand hop, West Coast New School IPA, mm. Rewaka, Nelson, and uh, Nectron. Nectron, yeah. I mean, that. oh my God. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is really nice. If you love these more... Classic West Coast flavors, and I think a lot of people seek for these. Uh, you definitely dig this a lot, and you know. But if you want that new school approach, it, I think they nail it better than other sliced beers. But it's really good. It's very saturated, very popping. It's just lacking that like modern fruit flair that they're so good at usually. Mm. But hey, they're mixing things up, which is, is awesome. So yeah, if you guys had a chance to try Slice Dank of the Dead West Coast IPA, let us know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton to Joaquin for the beer. You the man, dude. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer video.